The global trend, as documented in the Global Report on Human Settlement, indicates a growing evidence of urban poverty. In Kenya, poverty is increasing at an alarming rate and has spread to all sectors. Kitale municipality is not an exception, especially when overall urban population is increasing at a rate of two to three times that of rural population. This trend has presented a serious urban planning and management challenge. Current knowledge on urban development and management suggests that stakeholder participation in project conceptualization, design, implementation and management could indeed hold the key to sustainable urban development. It is out of this understanding that the Intermediate Technology Development Group, Eastern Africa, launched a project known as Building in Partnerships, Participatory Urban Planning in Kitale in March 2001. The intention of the initiative is to find solutions to the problems facing residents of Kitale town through a participatory approach. Uh, the design of this project uh, which is funded by DFID, Knowledge and Research, was meant to develop a new method of uh, planning approach, whereby we are supposed to work with the various groups, various organizations at the grassroots, at, at national and also at international level, to arrive at a new method of planning, whereby we engage the poor people, poor men and women and children, and bring them within the platform of planning, whereby their needs can be addressed through a partnership approach. Participatory urban planning is a recent innovation in the planning realm. Its main focus is to bring together on one hand development needs as defined by community members and on the other hand the technical skills and resources of the government, donor agencies and NGOs. In doing so, it integrates traditional knowledge systems with external technical skills and knowledge in the development process in general and fight against poverty in particular. Kitale municipality, an urban setting where the current building in partnerships participatory urban planning project is being implemented, is located in the central area of Tronzoya district in the Rift Valley province of Kenya. It is between Mount Elgon to the west and the Cheringani Hills to the east. Kitale became a township in 1930 and in 1968 it became a full municipal council. There are 12 electoral wards in the municipality and each is represented by a councillor. According to the population census of 1999, Kitale had a population of 147,992 people. This represents 25.7% of the district population with a density of 562 persons per square kilometer. However, the population has continued to rise within the municipality since then. Due to migration of people into the town, Pressure has been exerted on the municipal authorities to provide services under severe revenue constraints. Our allocation for the municipality, Kitale Municipal Council, is 22 million, whereby we spend around 7, uh, 7 million on last tap for rural development. And uh, this last tap, we, this 7 million, we, we divide it within the 10 wards within the Kitale Municipal Council. And it's not enough for all the, the, the projects that uh, are prioritized by the, by the Wanainji. Therefore, with ITTG, they come and uh, supplement some projects. The influx of people in Kitale, coupled with inadequate finances for the council to provide services and expand residential and other infrastructural requirements, has given rise to informal settlements that lack the basic social amenities. But since participatory planning is a three-tier process whose core pillars include shared vision, action and participation, the project started off its activities by first of all getting to the ground to listen to the needs of the residents of Kitale municipality. In a scan survey known as Kitale Urban Planning, the following areas were targeted. Government departments non-governmental organizations, community-based organizations, landlords and tenants, 
squatters and street families, formal and informal transport operators, juokali and small business operators, water and food vendors. Eventually, the survey came up with the identified vision of the participants, that is, the Kitale we want, through which a number of priority needs were presented as follows. Improving quality of water, improvement of sanitation and drainage, improved housing and shelter, security of land tenure, protection of riparian areas, community participation, improved school enrollment and performance, improvement of infrastructure, promotion of income generating activities, and prevention of HIV AIDS. Before I was a councillor, I was a youth leader of the One Youth Group. And uh, they came around to find organized groups that are in Tiwani, and Tiwani Youth Group happened to be one of them. So I was the chairman of Tiwani Youth Group. So we went around with them to survey Tiwani as a ward and other areas also in Kitale municipality. And we did research to ascertain priority areas as concerning the needs of these people and therefore came up with a plan as a way forward. And so Tuwani, Shimolatewa and Kipsongo slums were selected as areas for the initial phase of intervention. The project conducted went to the ground and we started conducting a citywide survey which was world based. We call it as we called we conducted what we call a scan survey. And the scan survey was engaged or engaged the local communities to generate information which was to assist us in coming up with the development needs. After a series of workshops to sensitize communities in the three slum areas on neighborhood planning, it was time then for practical issues. In Tuwani, ITDG Eastern Africa came up with the idea of water springs whereby clean water was harnessed for communal use. Tukajitoa mama kumi na wawili, kuanza kujia kujenga imaji, tunakujia asibui mpaka jioni, tunarudi manyumbani. Na hapa awali tulikuwa tunakunywa imaji kiwa chafu sana, tulikuwa tunakunywa katika kisima uko chini. Hata vidudu tunapata ndani ya maji, tunapata vitu chafu chafu sana ndani ya maji. Kwa sababu wakati ingine ilikuwa inafanya watoto wetu wanahara, wanafanya nini kwa ajili ya imaji. Before ITDG Eastern Africa introduced the idea of constructing water springs in Tuwani, the residents were constantly exposed to infections arising from the use of polluted water. The water catchment areas and lower areas around the settlements have continually been degraded through pollution and soil erosion. Now, the water springs ensure clean water for residents of Tuwani through an organized management system by the community itself. Pastor Odengo, speaking about how he takes care of the water. Another initiative to bring clean water to Shimolatewa was undertaken involving a group of women from the community. Mama wana fry na kupongeza. Kukua hii community yetu ya shima natewa ni community amba hiko chini kabisa. Hatuna chochote lakini kupitia ndani ya shirika ni ITTG. Imetuletea hui mradu wa maji tutakuwa tukipara ndani sabuni. Hata watoto wetu wataenda shule kama ni wasafi. Hatutakuwa wachafu sana vile tulikuwa hapa awali. Teaming up with the Kitale Municipal Council, ITDG Eastern Africa surveyed the area and made it possible for the construction of a number of water springs for the residents of Kipsongo. While constructing sanitation facilities and water wells for the residents of Kipsongo, the project undertook it in tandem with the construction of similar facilities in primary schools. So far, a total of 26 sanitation blocks have been built in schools. In the past, the general environment in Kipsongo was an eyesore, as people would go relieving themselves anywhere. Apart from the friction it generated among the residents in the past, 
This habit was also a deadly cause of epidemics such as cholera and typhoid. Tulikuwa tumekaa mahali hapa bila hata mahali pa kujisaidia. Watu walikuwa wanaenda ofyovyo msituni na hata maji walikuwa wanachota tu maji ofyovyo. Kwa hivyo kwamba shirika la ITTG ilipofika mahali hapa iliweza kufanya maneno mazuri sana. Kipsongo Slam came into being around 1972. Since then, most of the people who were born here are now adults. Ever since they now know Kipsongo as their only home. The thrust of neighborhood planning can be seen in various aspects of implementation here. Mr. Rao and Monica and Jerry reviewing the bridge construction diagrams. What we are hoping for, what we are hoping for is that if the channel is deep from a distance, the water volume that is contained is much higher. So as opposed to flooding out, it gradually moves out. We have also brought on board private sector who have come into advice on some of the areas and who are also interested to assist the local community in achieving their needs. Uh, we have been uh, dealing with ITTG who have really been of uh, great aid, especially on technical advice and also in fields of co-financing. Uh, we have uh, especially engaged them in uh, the construction of uh, the Shimuratewa footbridge. Here, the council gave its contribution of around 300,000, and the other cost also was handled by ITTG. They have also uh, built up uh, sanitation blocks into an area. They are also coming up with a health facility in Kipsong area. These are uh, generally slum areas where they are targeting the majority of the people there who are poor. For instance, the construction of this foot bridge highlights the all-inclusive nature of the project as members of the Shimola Tewa community team up with ITDG Eastern Africa, the Kitale Municipal Council and private sector partners. The need for the construction of the bridge has been long overdue since the residents of Shimola Tewa have for long agonized while crossing over to town, especially during the rainy seasons. Side by side with the implementation of the project in other areas, the communities of Tuwani, Shimulatewa and Kipsongo have also been able to share their experiences <laughs> through a community newsletter which is a component of the Building in Partnerships Participatory Urban Planning Project. And one way of uh, communicating uh, development needs in the area was, uh, was production of Kitale, Kitale newsletter. Uh, so far we have been able to produce six, uh, six uh, issues uh, which have been a very popular uh, uh, planning mouthpiece in, in, in Kitale. We have had the community response to this paper. It has been very, very, very cooperative and uh, we appreciate what they have done and they have identified this paper as their project. And uh, whenever we delay with the publishing, they normally ask what has happened to our paper. At the same time, the project has established a website known as Kitale website where the residents are able to communicate with the rest of the world. Uh, it has been widely acknowledged that small businesses have limited access to sound and, uh, and appropriate business um, information. So, Oasis, we go to the, to, we have a page in the internet. We go to the internet, get the, 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 the materials. We basically found out what these small people, small enterprises need, you know, the, the kind of information they would want to get. And so, for a small fee, we deliver it to them. Now, when, when ITDG came into the district, I think uh, within the municipality of uh, Kitale, uh, they did what is called uh, trying to know who is on the ground. And uh, I think they bumped into us also. They came to know about what Handicap International is doing. So because of our long-standing uh, relationship with the community, I think we have worked together in project planning for them, project design. We worked with them together on that, with the community. And also in trying to uh, assist the community uh, come up with their own perceptions towards what they want to do in terms of water and sanitation, in terms of uh, urban planning for themselves, 
and also in terms of uh, infrastructural development within the municipality. On shelter, the project has also engaged the community in shelter technologies, especially the production of stabilized soil blocks, among others. Filippo, leteo machine, tulifunza, tupiga nae matafari. Hii machine tunaitumia pia malipo yetu huwa tunapata ndani yake. Na machine pia yetu huwa tunaeka. Sisi wenyewe ile inabaki, tunajisaidia nae. Daily safety. Na huwa sasa wakati tunapo pata pesa tunatoa. Kwa shilingi kumi, shilini, tano. Chote ni nacho, tu tunaeza toa na tunaeka. Na sanya iso pesa iliko inapo fika kukua nyingi. Na kopesha wenzetu wele wengine ya kikundi. Tunafanyia kazi zao wa kisirudisha. Despite the concerted efforts towards improving the living conditions of residents of Tuwani, Shimola Tewa, and Kipsongo settlements in Kitale, the issue of land tenure has not been so reassuring. Yangu wakati huo, tulipo saliwa katika mtai, wakati hiyo wa sasi yetu walipo kwa mbado wa angali wa hai. Sasa kwa wakati nisisi ni watoto ya wale wa mbae wa mepita katika kisiji. Kwa mebaki ya hapa. Na sisi tumesauliwa hapa. Tumesaliwa kupewa na tukawa na tukawa tumepewa karibu watu 56. Eh baada ya kupewa hiyo tremble allocation tuliweza kuuliza kama tunaweza ku, ku kumiliki sehemu ya shimo la tewa. Na wakapeleka mpaka kwa sub DTC eh, ikafanywa na wakapendekeza kwamba tuweze eh, kupewa ili tumiliki hii sehemu ya slum area shimo tewa It is anticipated that building in partnerships participatory urban planning as a project will enable local authorities in Kenya and in the region to work closely with the people Perhaps all that may be required is to harness the goodwill of the people in order to engage the initiative of the local communities Yes, the involvement of the local communities in the project has indeed generated positive results. Together with other initiatives such as Kitale Green Towns Group, the neighborhood planning approach in the development of Kitale municipality is bound to create a friendly environment.